What is good, Grey Gang? We're here. We're going to be hunting with a 22 long rifle. And I know this doesn't look like a 22 because it looks like it has night vision, but it's just a basic 22. And I'll get down a little bit lower and show you. This is just a standard Marlin uh, bolt action. It has a tube down here. Now I know what you're thinking. Kittle, dude, what in the world is all this? I mean, it looks like you have a stinking grenade launcher attached to it. First of all, we have a scope. Now the scope goes from about here to here. That's a KG Rimfire Recon. Those are actually the ones that are up on my website right now. This is the step above the Rimfire elite i really like it you'll see later why i like it so much and the way that you'll see that is with this right here this is actually a tactic cam right now i have it rigged for a scope cam then this right here this is just basic it's just a gopro to you know get me walking in the woods and reloading and stuff and then up there it's just a bipod that that really has nothing to do with anything but besides that i think we're about ready to go into the woods now as you can see i'm decked out in this new camo pattern is it real tree no derek it's not real tree is it mossy oak i like where you're coming from but no, it's not Mossy Oak, Jeremiah. This is actually KG camo. As you can see right there is one of the KG watermarks. This is stinking crazy. Well, me and Abram, we actually worked all spring trying to come up with the KG camo. And we finally got it done, boys. We got this. This is just a long sleeve. It's really thin hunting shirt. You know, for like early season. It's a moisture wicking material. And it's super lightweight stuff. So you can do stuff like this and shoot squirrels out trees. But this is the long sleeve shirt. I think this may be the first time I've ever told y'all about it. We also have the hat. Actually, we don't have the hat. We're going to have the hat, the matching hat. It's not available on the website yet. But here we have the fanny pack. It's not the same camo pattern, but this is how I'm going to be rocking it. Usually, I rock the fanny pack down on the waist, but today, I said, let's shoulder strap this sucker. Let's see how it goes. So far, it's done pretty good. We have thin gloves also in the KG Woodland camo. I'll go ahead and put them on for you. These are going to be key for squirrel hunting and really key for crow hunting whenever you need to cover up your hands. They're super thin. They're basically fishing gloves for hunting, and they're fingerless so that I can still do stuff and like play the piano. Anyways, guys, we're decked out. We got, I don't know, really weird looking gun right now, but that ain't gonna stop us. I'm gonna head right over here, over here in the woods back here behind me. And uh, since the title is Squirrel Hunt with a 22, I think I'm gonna try to kill a squirrel. Anyways, guys, let's go. I'm switching over to the scope.
Oh, no. Dog, I think you got away from me. Well, I will say that is the closest we have came so far today. I mean, we saw one squirrel and we shot at it three times. But for some reason, I just couldn't connect my shots. I think, I don't think it was the gun's fault at all. I mean, I sighted it in right before the video. And I'm actually going to put that footage at the end of the video. So if you want to watch me sight in this gun, be sure to watch it at the end. But literally like two hours ago, it was hitting dead on. So basically what I'm trying to say is that I didn't shoot very well. I missed him bad. Especially that first time in the first shot. I shot and it knocked him off the tree. At first I was thinking, okay, well he's not dead. Maybe I hit his leg. Maybe I, maybe I disabled him, I guess. But then once I saw him, you know, start bolting straight up the tree, I was like, um, never mind. I don't see many three-legged squirrels doing that. And I mean, he was perfectly fine. And he got away from me easy. I think I must have just hit the branch underneath him. Or maybe grazed him and just scared him and he fell off. Anyways, guys, I'm still going to kill a squirrel in this video. I can promise that. We'll just come back in the morning. Because it's getting kind of cold right now. Okay, guys, it is the next day. I'm out here. It is freezing. I don't understand this Mother Nature stuff. It is negative 157 degrees right now. Are you kidding? Me? And I ain't talking about Celsius. But anyways, guys, pulling out the 22, same thing I was doing last time. What I recognized on the footage, um, the scope cam footage was a little blurry. So I just adjusted my scope a little bit. We should be good, guys. It is set up perfect. Anyways, there's a couple crows out here, and I'm just gonna let you know if I see a crow, I'm gonna shoot it too. Just a heads up. Just a heads up, guys. I'm about to give y'all a little GoPro quick tip. So as you may or may not be able to tell, it's a little wet right now. I think it may have fogged a lot, so there's a lot of moisture. Shut up, crow. Gosh. But anyways, whenever it's really wet, it's great because you can walk on these leaves and it's not going to crunch a lot and make a lot of noise. And another thing, whenever a squirrel's up in a tree and he's walking on a branch, he'll shake the branch and all the water will fall on the ground, letting you know exactly where he is. So if you're walking on a morning like this and you hear... And it sounds like it's raining. Look over there because there's probably a squirrel. Deader than a hammer, son. Maybe not. He's still moving. Oh, man. What about that, boys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As a quick snapshot, too. Gotta say that. But yeah, guys, that's the best part. These mornings are literally the best. I mean, it's a little harder because you got to get up when you're sleeping. But besides that, hunting in the morning versus the evening, morning's way better. The animals are just as active, maybe even more, Two. Oh, there's another squirrel. There's another squirrel. I think I'm gonna let him go though, because I'm already he already knows I'm here. But anyways, on a lot of mornings like this, it's wet. That means you can sneak around and they can't hear you as good. That's how I snuck from way down there in the road. Quietly, because well, it's wet. They're not dry anymore. And we got it on the scope cam, so hopefully it was turned on. Yeah, I think it was. Bro, that was sweet. Headshot too. Dead or hand. But boys, I'll go ahead and show you the squirrel now. Here we go, here we go. We're gonna name him nothing because he's dead. Oh, snap, did y'all just see that? Man, I thought he wasn't dead at first, but I don't know how good y'all can see that, but 
That's a lot of blood for a squirrel. There he is one more time. That's about... I don't know if I want to show y'all that, but if y'all really want to see what's happened to his head, you can zoom on in. Look at it. Besides that, that's all I'm going to show you. Hot dog. I didn't know a 22 could do that. I mean, I did, but I didn't think it would. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy. <laughs> the entry wound is literally nothing. The exit wound is literally everything. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take this guy back to the homestead. Skid him up. Force Mammy to cook him against her will. Man, that was fun. That was fun, dude. That was great. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. There he is. No, not that. That's a Mountain Dew bottle. That's the squirrel. That, no. Anyways, guys, it is still foggy. It's not even that early. Low rim fire recon putting in work, son. But I don't think I'm going to try to go kill another squirrel. I think it'd be really easy since we really just saw one right over there a second ago. But I think I'm going to lay off, guys. I don't want to kill all my squirrels. I just want to come out here and have fun. And as you can tell... I've definitely done that today. And hopefully you guys did too, because I bring you along with it. I do want to say real quick, if you want to support the channel in any way, and maybe you want to pick up some camouflage, this is the best way to do it, and it's kennelgrade1.com slash shop. On the website, you can pick up the long sleeve shirt right now. You can pick up the lightweight hunting gloves, fingerless, so that you can still play the piano, like I was saying earlier. Or you can even pick up the fanny pack. I usually wear this on my waist, but today, I cross-strapped it, and it's working amazing. And as you can tell, all three of the camos work out perfect. And the rim fire recon, which is the scope, but I think you already know that. But if you want to support the channel, that is the best way to do it. It is kindlegrain1.com fast shop or first link in the description. Pick up anything. But like I was saying earlier in the video, I sighted in that rifle and that scope about 20 minutes before I started hunting. Um, and yesterday at the beginning part of the video. And I did film it, and I'm actually going to put it in right here. So if you don't like, I don't know, sighting in scopes, maybe you're weird, you can leave. But if you're not weird, enjoy. Okay, guys, we're about to sight in the gun. I put this actually at the end of the video because I, th I don't know if everybody really likes this. Some people think it's boring. I know. <laughs> weirdos right <laughs> but here is the setup my 22 marlin bolt action then we have a kg rimfire recon this is actually the scope we've been using to squirrel hunt really good looking scope got those dice scope rings i'll try to show you all the reticle right here no need to really show you all the reticle i believe y'all done seen it with the tactic cam but boys look at that look at the sunset oh snap bros that looks good but anyways enough talking let's go ahead and send a few rounds down range oh got my big pink mattress rug whatever you want to call it but here we go we're gonna take our first few shots right here there we go ah sweet so i know that we need to come over to the right quite a bit so that's gonna be the first thing we do and then we also need to go down about one mil we need to come to the right a lot and then it needs to come down so All right, let's try it now. See if we can get on paper. Oh, we're getting close now. That's almost dead on. That's good adjusting right there. That was good adjusting. I looked on the, I looked on the steel, seen about how much I needed to adjust. I adjusted. Rimfire Recon puts it right on par. Oh, this is fun. Let's see if we can put another one really close and we'll get a good group. Oh, that's pretty good, guys. Usually, sighting in guns is, like, literally one of my least favorite things in the world to do. But that was really easy, and it worked really good. So, I'm not having a problem with it. It was actually really fun. So, but anyways, guys, we're about to head out and go squirrel hunting. The weird part about this video is that we've actually already done that, because that was the per first part of the video. But, I mean, besides this, uh, thank you for watching. I don't know if I've killed any squirrels yet, but... Uh, hopefully we did, and, uh, if you want anything, it's kindlegrade1.com slash shop. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. I hope this isn't too close, but if it is, sorry. What's up, Grey Gang? Smash like and subscribe to Kindle Grey's channel, plus go to kindlegrade1.com. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Grey Gang.